How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news update video. If you don't know, today, February 16th, is the first day of the brand new Halo World Championship Series. It is the Orlando Open. I'm super excited for this, mainly because this is the first Halo MLG event since 2012. It's been quite a long time since the good old MLG days, but Halo's back, baby, and it's coming back pretty strong. So in this video, I'm going to give you some updates and news and information about what to expect for this Halo Championship Series this weekend. So if you want to stay up to date for all the Halo World Championship Series news and other just general Halo news as well, make sure you tap the subscribe button, let you know that you want to see some more content like this. Tap, make sure you tap that bell. Make sure you keep up to date every time I upload anything awesome on this channel, which is, you know, rather consistent. Leave a like on this video if you enjoy these kind of videos and would like to see more of them. And also leave a comment down below what you guys, what team would you guys like to see win in the Orlando Open this weekend. So I'm going to give you the details of when, where, what, and who to look out for. And also a little bit of details on what they're running with this uh, event as well. So like I said, the event starts today, Friday the 16th, runs all the way on to seven on the 17th and on to the 18th as well the uh streams should start around 2 30 eastern standard time pretty much any time you find it should be around eastern standard you know east coast u.s time uh so the first event starts at 2 30. i will actually be hosting the live stream on my personal twitch channel which will be linked in the description down below if you guys want to check that out so you don't have to deal with the cancerous Twitch chat. You want to come over to my channel? We can actually talk about Halo and anything like that while watching some awesome HCS gameplay. Come check out the Twitch channel I will be hosting and it will be in the chat pretty much all day. I'll be at work listening on my headphones. So I'll be listening in. Won't be able to re uh, watch a whole lot, but at least I'll be involved. We will be able to have a discussion about all the awesomeness that's taking place. So definitely go check out that Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash Kevin Coolex. Same as the name up there. Now for the 4v4 game modes, they'll be playing for a $50,000 prize pool with first place taking away 20 grand. And that's a nice little chunk of change right there for sure. So I thought for this I'll let you know what kind of game modes are playing, what maps, and again, like I said, what teams look out for. So game modes that you'll be watching on this are going to be CTF, Slayer, and Strongholds. Those three game modes. Ball, I, I believe, was mentioned before in the beginning of the season, but I believe, maybe since they haven't tweaked out the settings exactly. Uh, for that game mode, it's not going to be featured with this uh, open, sadly. Uh, the maps we'll be playing on are going to be Truth, Regret, Fathom, Eden, Plaza, Coliseum, and Empire. Now, I'm sure some of you, including myself, have been a little detached from the competitive Halo scene for a while. I was super into it back in the MCC days, playing the Halo 2 anniversary, watching Team Envious just destroy the competition. It was hands down, they were the best team right there. Well, things have changed a little bit since then. Optic Gaming is pretty much the big boy on the court right now. Uh, they're setting the, they're on their course to try to win their third straight Halo Championship, which would set a record, put them up there with uh, the classic teams back in like the Halo 3 days with like, I think it was Final Boss. It was another team that did something like that. So keep an eye out for Optic Gaming. Uh, Splice, another team to keep an eye out for. Uh, they've won three out of the last four North American online 2K tournaments. So they're running on a hot streak, rolling right into this. So they're going to be going on full, on full cylinders going into this competition here. And I'm also taking note of Team Reciprocity. That's a tricky word to say, but the team, I guarantee, will make a little noob shiver in their little space boots because... Uh, the team is featuring some former M Team Envious greats, Mick Wynn and Snipedown, who are fantastic players. If you guys have been following Halo Championships at all, you'll definitely know recognize those names. Also teaming up with Spartan, who's another fantastic player, and Penguin. I don't know who Penguin is exactly, but I do love the animals, so I'm, I'm excited for this team. And their coach for that team is Ogre too. so some heavy veterans going into this team right here. So this is why... I Take note of these guys. There's some more crafty veterans on this team that have proven themselves over and over again to be very, very competitive when it comes to playing Halo. Now, there are some Australian teams, there's some Latin American teams, EU teams in here as well. So, if you want to see all the teams listed, check out the links in the description down below. It'll take you right to the page so you can get all the little juicy details. And also, just on a side note, uh, the teams will be playing on Xbox One X is 
so Xbox One X, <laughs> playing using the Halo 5 local server, which if you don't know about that, I made a video about it, so I'll link it at the end of this video as well if you want to check it out. Basically, it's a dedicated server that's going to be right there for them to use. So connection should be just the minute, the last thing you worry about when playing these games. Now for predictions, I'm pretty sure you're going to see Optic Gaming reaching at least towards the championship, somewhere really close to the championship. I mean, they've had the same team for the last two championships that they've won in a row. They're excellent players. Uh, they've proven them. The, the Optic has really proven themselves to be a, a real true force of, in, in this uh, realm of Halo 5 competitive. And uh, I would also would just love to see Reciprocity get up there as well, just because there's some classic names I remember back in the Halo 2, Halo 3 days of the competition of uh, like Snipe Down was one of them, Ogre 2 was another one of those guys as well that I used to watch all the time back in Halo 3 so I'd love to see that team get up in that list as well because Snipe Down is just an amazing player, he's one of my favorite players to watch, can't wait to see what that team does. So let me know in the comment section down below guys who are you looking forward to in this championship series? Who do you think is going to win? I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. If you want to see some more content from here, and you want to stay up to date with all the HCS awesomeness and Halo updates and news and gameplay and all other things involving Halo, make sure you tap the subscribe button with the bell to let you know every time we're getting uh, anything awesome onto this channel right here. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the Orlando Open this weekend. I certainly will be. Come check us out in the Twitch chat. The link again to my channel will be linked in the description down below. If you're the first link you click on, it'll take you right there. We can hang out, talk about some Halo, and just have a good time right there as well. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.